Cooking apa? Hi, this is Cooking apa? So uh, it's baking time again, and you know it's not by apa, okay? It's by my wife. So she's going to make cheese bun, yeah, cheese bun today. So uh, I'm going to pass over the mic to her. Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show how to make cheese bun. Uh, we because this is weekday, so I, I don't have much time to to do a lot. So I this this cheese bun is fast to do because the entire process will probably take about uh, one and a half hour, something like that. So uh, rather than the the whole loaf of bread, which usually take more than three hours. Um, so the ingredients that we have today is uh, bread flour of 260 gram plus uh, 40 gram of uh, cake flour and then we have egg so this is egg and uh, milk combined of 180 gram so we have sugar 30 gram and then butter 30 gram and yeast 3 gram and 2 gram of uh, salt so uh, yeah so the egg and uh, egg and uh, milk is actually combined. You have to have 180 grams. So what I do is I usually measure the. I put the egg in first, and then I put the milk to to combine it to 180 grams because uh, egg has different size and different uh, weight and all. Okay. So now, uh, oh, uh, one very important thing. Uh, some people mentioned that you know they uh, they they couldn't make the bread successfully. Uh, I use this uh, ipu roti uh, so I use this uh, instant dry yeast uh, so far it has not failed me but um, yeast sometimes can die also so I keep my yeast in the fridge to make sure they stay alive and then also an open uh, 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 bottle of yeast you are not supposed to keep it for too long um, and of course you need to take care of them and then uh, when you put in the ingredient also very important again don't uh, make sure the yeast uh, does not touch the liquid and also does not touch the salt okay so now we're gonna put the ingredient into the bread maker tray so we start with the milk and egg And then we put the sugar in different corner. Okay. And then the salt. Okay. And then so now we put the uh, bread flour in. So we will not put the butter until we need for about 10 minutes. Followed by the cake flour. Okay. So remember what we do with the yeast is we dig a hole in the middle and make sure there is no uh, wet ingredient there. And then put it in and bury it. Okay, so now I put my tray back in the bread maker, close it, and then so the setting is I, I will not do the baking in the bread maker itself because this is not a loaf. So I will do the baking in the oven, uh, but so I will only use this uh, for the kneading of the dough. So menu is I will use number eight to make the dough, and then I start. No, no need one. Yeah. Then we will come back at 10 minutes later to put in the butter and then another need for another 10 minutes. Hello. Hi, uh, so this is after 10 minutes of kneading. So now we add the butter in to continue to knead for another 10 minutes. So 
Sorry, let it uh, run for another 10 minutes and then we'll come back to uh, to take out the dough. Oh. Hi, uh, so um, after kneading for another 15 minutes, so in total it's uh, uh, 25 minutes of kneading. Um, I uh, decided, uh, I, I waited for it to stop kneading before I open it. And then so now we're going to take out the dough and then shape it into nine different uh, shapes. Nine different? Uh, nine different balls. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, so now uh, because I'm going to make the uh, make it into like small buns, right? So uh, before we proof the the dough, we will or I will separate it into uh, eight. Actually, you can do nine or eight. It's actually entirely up to you. Uh, but uh, uh, in this case, I think easier to to make it evenly. I'll just do eight. If you're very particular. On the, um, I mean, to, to if you're a very particular person, you can also weigh the whole entire dough, and then uh, take the entire dough weight divide by nine, so you can put three in one row in the in the baking tray. So I, I'm not so particular because this is for family uh, eat only. So, and then when you so when after you sh uh, divide them into the number of uh, bun you want to make. Um, you need to uh, reshape them into like a nice bowl shape, right? And when you reshape a, a bowl, you, uh, the dough, you need to actually do it like a folding method or they call it Swiss roll method. So I put them into my uh, packing tray. Okay. okay. So remember, this is before proving, so that's why it's a bit smaller. Um, so you need to leave a little gap for them to um, rise. I just found that the middle one is a little bit more dough, so I can I can make it into the nine uh, bun. <laughs> Hi, uh, so now I have shaped them into nine different buns and then uh, I will do the proving process uh, or the fermentation process. So I will put it into my oven but the oven is off so there's no heat inside um, and then I will put a, a bowl of uh, a slightly warm uh, water. Uh, next to it and then leave it inside the oven uh, for one hour Hi, uh, so now I have shaped them into nine different buns and then uh, I will do the proving process uh, or the fermentation process so I will put it into my oven but the oven is off so there's no heat inside um, and then I will put a, a bowl of uh, a slightly warm uh, water uh, next to it and then leave it inside the oven uh, for one hour Hi, welcome back So you can see now um, after proving for one hour the uh, dough has become bigger and they stick to each other already so the, it's obviously it has uh, uh, been proved uh, and fermented so now, what we do is, this, the, as soon as I took it out from the oven, I would turn on my oven and then preheat at uh, 180 degrees Celsius. And now, while the oven is preheating, I would, um, uh, this is egg, um, so I would uh, spread the egg on top of the, the uh, dough, so make it in a nicer colour.
So after it's baked, it has the golden brown color on top. This egg, egg sauce will make it like this. So after I spread the egg, I would uh, sprinkle cheese on top of the bread. This is a uh, three cheese bake. So just put it on top. Uh, the amount of cheese is actually depend on individual. Some people love it, uh, then they will put a lot, and some people will put less. So it's entirely up to you. So, uh, and there are many types of uh, shredded cheese. Uh, you can buy um, cheddar, bell, uh, bake. You can buy uh, ma uh, mozzarella. Okay. So now I have sprinkled uh, all the cheese on top of the bread. Lastly, is sugar. So sugar is also up to you. You can uh, estimate how much you want. <laughs> My husband uh, loves <laughs> to eat the uh, cheese and sugar uh, mixed together, so I would sprinkle a little bit more. But okay, and because the mm. okay, so now uh, it's ready to go into the oven. But the oven, um, I would suggest to preheat it uh, for I think ten minutes before I put in. So I will let it. Rest for a while and then put in. Okay, so now we have preheat the oven. I'm gonna put it inside. I put it at the lower tray because I don't want the cheese to be uh, too uh, burnt. Um, okay, so the the temperature is 180 degree Celsius and then um, uh, for 15 minutes. One five. One five. The bun is baking right now in the oven. Hi, welcome back. So this is after baking for 15 minutes under 180 degree heat. Uh, so this is the end product. So I'm going to take it out from the tray and then show you how it looks like. Alright, there you go. Here's our cheese bun tonight. It is very, very fragrant. My whole house is actually filled with all the cheesy smell. Cheesy and baking smell. So, I uh, hope you all like our recipe tonight. Um, so, uh, for those who like my video, do share out the video to your friends on your Facebook. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page, click both the like and follow button. Uh, subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel and... Um, follow up on Instagram. Alright, so I hope you all enjoy your dinner and supper with your family. Bye bye.